Welcome back to the experimental session on various aspects of digital electronics. We are in the experiment number 13 where we have to study the digital logic, digital logic gates and De Morgan's theorem. Uh, we have already seen the working of digital logic gates through a very dedicated trainer uh, where we have seen that switches are directly connected to the logic ICs the ICs were inside the board and only with the help of mimic diagram we have verified the operation of the logic gates in the next uh, session to that we have seen how a digital trainer works and uh, today we will be employing the digital trainer that we have seen in our earlier session to work on various logic gates now in order to work uh, with the logic ICs we need to first understand the logic ICs themselves so let us go for that first we can see here that our first experiment will be to verify the operation of AND gate now uh, you kindly look into this uh, diagram clearly you can see that fix a what does the procedure writes fix a 7408 quad to input and TTL IC chip on the breadboard now what is this IC chip you can see here I will get into the camera mode this is what is actually an IC okay you can see the structure these are the terminals of the IC now the number of terminal actually specifies the number of pins for the IC. Let us see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That means that this is a 14 pin IC. Okay. This is a 14 pin IC. Now let us try to read the number of IC you can see here this is the IC number 74 you can see 7408 7408 there are several alphabets also in between that actually discusses many characteristics of the IC or some particular coding given by the manufacturer we will not get into the details of the same only important thing is this 74 series is a TTL IC series and 08 is the number this is 7408 IC now 7408 IC is a 14 pin IC and this particular package you can see here that actual IC is a very small size that is residing somewhere inside this package actual IC is a very small thing I will uh, definitely send one document to you from which you can have a good idea about the IC structure and that particular IC which is lying somewhere in between this total constructive uh, construction you can see that those things uh, those that IC actual IC it is connected to these terminals through internal connection we cannot see that in our eyes but actually that is there inside now what happens inside this that is actually none of our business what we are expecting to know what we get at the output pin of the IC when we give some input supply at the input pins now this particular package you can see if that IC actual integrated circuit is that small then what is the necessity of giving this bigger size because if you did not have this much size it was actually impossible to have all the terminals at the output to get all the terminals okay so that's why all this package is made this is a plastic package you can see here this is a plastic package this black one is the package in which the IC actual IC is there and the actual IC is having internal connections to these terminals okay now you see here one unpost thing is you should know that there is a notch you can see there is a notch okay 
some ices do not have this notch they have one circular uh, i should say um, impinement okay circular impression here small circular dot from that dot you have to count pin number 1 and if this is the notch if this is the notch then if you hold the ic like this if you hold the ic like this then from the left side you start counting so this becomes your pin number 1 pin number 2 pin number 3 pin number 4 pin number 5 pin number 6 pin number 7 then you come this side pin number 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 okay so you have got go for a counter clockwise uh, manner and uh, this is the notch from the left side of the notch you must uh, start counting the pin number okay so now i will uh, put this ic into the board you have to be a bit cautious because if you damage some of the terminals then the ic might not be remain usable okay so you can see the ic is connected and you can see very easily that each of the pins each of the pins they are having one dedicated line like this okay right so you can build up your circuit very easily uh, out of this uh, interconnections now you see we need to know that what are the pin definitions of this ic pin definitions means what does each pin signify whenever you use an ic you come across different pins and each of the pin had some operation or has some operation in the internal circuitry of the ic and by dint of the presence of that pin you get signal from that pin one or other signal that signal can be a pulse that signal can be one either high or low status or in case of more complex circuits like a microprocessor or a microcontroller you can have other sort of signals also these ics are digital so they only give 5 or 0 that means ttl high or ttl low according to that the signal will be given and uh, remember that there are analog ics also like operational amplifier ic555 or uh, other comparators you can have pll ics phase lock loop circuits are there so these all these things are there okay but these are since they are digital ics the output signal will be ttl high or ttl low and moreover these are ttl ics and the input of the ttl uh, in input of this ic will be ttl high or ttl low okay now remember that apart from the input and output of this ic there is one supply and one ground also okay so for that we need to go for the uh, this uh, this is the ic diagram okay you can see here that pin number 14 is vcc vcc pin has to be connected to 5 volt supply invariably you should not commit the mistake so pin number 14 has to be connected to vcc pin number 7 has to be connected to ground now you can see that these are quad 2 input and ic quad means 1 2 3 and 4 there are four and gates inside this ic now how these and gates are prepared they are basically prepared with the help of transistors inside this and there are so many number of transistors over there this is a very large scale integration circuits this is a completely different technology okay so that i will not get into but here we have to remember that we can use any of these four blocks or all of these four blocks for our operational necessity now here we see that we have to verify the working of an and gate the working of an and gate so we will be using the first and gate you can use the second and gate as well third and gate or the fourth and gate as per your necessity now you see this and gate it is having three terminals as we have already seen in our demonstration terminal 1 terminal 2 and terminal 3 you can very easily see that terminal 1 and terminal 2 they are the input terminals and terminal 3 is the output terminal okay accordingly for the second and gate you can see this pin number 4 is terminal 2 uh, sorry pin number 4 is terminal 2a and pin number 5 is terminal 2b 
these are the two input terminals for second AND gate and the output is connected to 2Y that is terminal 6. So for this purpose we will be using the first AND gate. You can see here on the left side there is an amplifier diagram which is made only with this AND gate. So this is 7408 first AND gate where we are giving our inputs to pin number 1 and pin number 2. We will be getting our output at pin number 3. Pin number 7 of the IC has to be connected to ground and pin number 14 has to be connected to VCC. What they have done here? They have made uh, this logic switch 6 and 5 ready for the circuit. They have connected logic six uh, switch 6 to input 1 and logic switch 5 to input 2 and output of this uh, uh, um, AND gate that is pin number 3 is connected to one of the logic outputs. So let us try to build the circuit. Okay. So for that we will get into the camera mode and let us try to build. We will put this off first of all and I will connect one supply to pin number 7 uh, sorry pin number 14 you can see here that this is pin number 14 so from this here you can see the notch the notch is here actually I will show you like this you can see this is the notch this is the notch so from this side it is pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So accordingly we will build up the circuit. So I will get a more clear view I think. Yeah. Now it's clear. So I will take this uh, 5 volt supply. I will get it like this so that we are inside the thing. All right now. So this 5 volt is connected to pin number 14. And I will connect to the ground to pin number 7. Now see, these are the supply connections to the IC that is ready right now. Now what we will do, we will be making the uh, logic part. I will be using pin number uh, switch number 3 and switch number 4 as logic inputs. So I will put here one uh, jumper connection. This is another jumper connection. And uh, what we will do, we will use this uh, LED 6 to have our logic output. Okay. So what do we have to do? Switch number 3 has to be connected to pin number 1. So you can see this is uh, pin number 1, I will connect it here because it is interconnected, there is no problem, okay. And uh, uh, this another input I will be connected to pin number 2, this is pin number 2 and uh, pin number 3 I will connect it here, this is pin number 1, pin number 2 and pin number 3, I will connect it here, alright. So you see that your circuit is very simply ready. There is no confusion in that. All right. You can see this is switch. This is the switch from which I can give some logic signal. This is connected to pin number one. This is connected to pin number one. Uh, this is another switch which can give you logic input. You can just connect it to pin number two. And uh, you can see this is uh, this LED is there. And I have connected to pin number three. So our circuit is ready right now. Okay. So uh, let us put the power on and uh, let's get back to the truth table. Truth table means whatever is true that is uh, given here. So you can see when both the inputs are high, that is both the logic switches are at uh, high condition, the output should be high. All right. And uh, when uh, any of them is low, the output is low. This is basically the operation of an logic AND gate. Alright. So let us see that. Whether it is happening or not.
you can see at this condition both the switches this switch and this switch switch number 3 and switch number 4 none of the switches are in pressed condition you can see here it is uh, given at this point through this diagram that when the switches are not pressed they are in logic high condition now when the switch both the switches are in logic high condition the output is high all right now i will press one of the switches so one of the switches become low so one of the input is low when one of the input is low the output has become low now i will make the other input low now you can see the other input is low this switch is now low when this switch is low you can see the output is low i will make both the inputs low now you can see both the switches have been pressed both the switches have been pressed so the output is low altogether now i will release both the switches so that both of them are high and you can see the output is high we can also check them at the pin of the ic we can also check them at the pin of the ic you can see here for that purpose i will be using the logic probe and i will put the probe here at pin number 1 you can see pin number 1 is high pin number 2 is high and therefore pin number 3 is also high now what i will do i will make one of the pins low i have made it low so let us see now pin number 1 just a minute two. Uh, there is some problem with this probe anyway you can see pin number 3 uh, pin number 3 that is the output of the IC it is showing low pin number 2 it is high and uh, this uh, pin number 1 it is actually low but it is showing P there is some problem with this probe but you can see that when both the pins are low if I keep both the pins low then you can see the output is low you can see here no there is some some problem in here no problem but you can see the operation okay so this is the operation of an logic and gate we have verified the truth table also and uh, we have built up the circuit now let us go for another gate okay i will let us go for logic or gate now in OR gate, the particular IC that is used is 7432, 7432. You will see that there are some uh, very generic uh, similarities in these digital ICs. Here also pin number 14 is VCC, pin number 7 is ground. There are 4 OR gates. This is a quad 2 input OR gate, quad 2 input OR gate. Okay, so we will use pin number 1 as the input of first OR gate, pin number 2 as another input of first OR gate and pin number 3 as output of the first OR gate. Okay, so I will uh, remove the connections that we had already made for this IC. We will keep the same switches, LED and power supply ready so that the same can be used. I will uh, remove this IC. You have to be cautious while removing this. Otherwise, as I have told you, the pins might get damaged. So here we need uh, 7432. So you can see here that I am using a 7432 IC that I will fix here. Okay. That I have fixed here all right now let us get back to the connection you can see that i am using this from this 7432 pin number one pin number two and pin number three all right so let us uh, build up the circuit now uh, initially we will be making the supply that is pin number 14 
because here is the notch you can see here in this particular IC there is the notch as well as there is the circular impression there is a circular impression over there all right you can see both the notch and circular impressions both are there in the IC all right so now we will make the connections ready we have already connected the supply we will connect the ground we will connect the ground and now we will be going for the inputs so here again uh, pin number one is one of the input pin number two is another input and uh, pin number three is the output you can see this pin number three is the output. okay so the things are very simple I hope that by now this uh, operation of breadboard has also become very uh, familiar to you I will put this on now let us uh, revive the operation of this uh, or get with uh, when uh, both the inputs are high the output should be high when any of the input is high the output should be high and when both the inputs are low the output should be low okay so now you can see here I have made both the inputs high so as we had expected the output is high I will uh, make one of the pins low now the situation is one of the pin is high and the other pin is low you can see the output is high again I have made both of them high I will make another pin low you can see one of the pin is high and the other pin is low still the output is high now I will make both of the pins low now when I have made both of the pins low you have seen that the output is now digital low so from here the operation of OR gate is also verified and now we will go for the operation of NOT gate for NOT gate uh, we have to use this uh, 7404 uh, you can see here 7404 object number 8 7404 this is a NOT gate now you can see that uh, NOT gate is always having one input and one output definitely any digital IC that is a gate IC it should have one output and uh, input numbers may vary however in case of a NOT gate it is invariably single input uh, gate okay now you can see there are six NOT gates inside this uh, 7404 circuit uh, IC and uh, therefore we will be using only one of them for our demonstration one Y one A and one Y so we will be giving our input to pin number one and giving our output to, getting our output to from pin number two so for that I will remove the earlier IC I will remove every connection from the board so that we can start from just the beginning I will put the IC here you can see the IC is there in the breadboard and uh, let us get back to ensure you can see again the similarity pin number 14 is VCC pin number 7 is ground so you will see this uh, pin number 14 I will connect to VCC I will connect it to VCC and uh, pin number uh, 7 is connected to ground okay so you can see here this is connected to ground all right now you see that I will be using only one input here so pin number one is the input so pin number one is the input and definitely the output will be to pin number two so you can see pin number two is output pin number two is output all right so I will now the power so now you can see that uh, this switch 3 is the input okay so I press the switch so that 
it becomes in state 1 it is logically high the switch is now released the switch is now released so it is logical high when it is logical high you can see the output is logic low now I will press the switch so that it becomes logic 0 I press the switch and release it you can see the output is now high so in this way actually the digital ICs they function and whenever the digital ICs are working you can easily verify the truth table so with uh, this much with the basic ICs I will stop our discussion on operation of logic gates in the next session we will be verifying De Morgan's theorem thank you